ready. So we're here at the Northwest Flower and Garden Show, and we found the Mutual Materials booth, and Jesse from Mutual Materials. Hi, Jesse. Hi, how are we doing? Terrific, how are you? Good. What do we got going on here today? We're going to do a quick insta how-to on installing pavers. Okay. So I understand you bought a new home, and you maybe... We did. Yes, we did. Yeah, very <laughs> Congratulations. Thank yes. you. So really it's just seven quick easy steps. We're going to kind of go through it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we'll be done. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. But So <laughs> step one is you have your grade, right? And then you're going to, your final grade is going to be about the same height. So you excavate down about seven and a half inches, build up with four inches of base rock. We're going to get one inch of sand. And then a paver is two and a half inches thick. If you do all the math, we're back up to the same grade that we started at. So, excavating, everybody understands that. Base rock is made consists of five eighths minus. And so you're gonna compact it. If you have a plate compactor, you can rinse, or you can use a hand tamper, which is a little bit more work, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do. So once you get your area compacted, say you're doing a 10 by 10 patio, you're gonna wanna Put your base rock down about 11 by 11 because you want about six inches all the way around it so that way that your, your rocks don't through time start sloughing off and sliding down the hill so you always make it a little bit larger all right so that kind of covers step one step two step three is you need to retain the whole thing so we have this edge restrain here and you're going to put this in a corner and then you're going to work your way out of a corner <laughs> And so, and then we'll put the, at the very end, we'll put this around the outside of the project. Step three, or four, excuse me, is we need to get one inch of sand. So in order to get one inch of sand, we use three quarter inch conduit, which has an outside diameter of one inch. So we're gonna set that on our imitation base rock here. And then we're gonna cover it with sand. So once you have that covered, then you get out the fancy tool, the 2x4 here, and you just screed it right across the top. And you can see it makes a nice smooth surface. So when you lay those pavers, they sit nice and level. Any questions? You doing good? So if I was doing a patio in the backyard, we'd be working in the corner. I would pull this rail out, I'd leave this one put, and I would set this rail here and then I would do another section of sand. And then you just slowly take one and work your way down. Yes, but because we're just doing a demonstration, I'm gonna remove both of them here because of limited space. And then what you do is you take a trowel, just take some sand and fill in where, those, uh, where that conduit was. Kind of level it off. All right, so now you have your nice level sand. Like I said, we're gonna start in one corner, we're gonna work our way out. So you start with the paver, start laying them across. And generally I don't uh, screed out more sand than I, I do a little bit of sand and then a little more sand. No reason to do it all at once because you're gonna, dog's gonna run through it, you're gonna step on it, phone rings. Yeah. Do you do them so they touch or do you have to space them out? No, they have, they have spacers on them so all you really have to do is click and drop. And there's a little system you'll develop. It's click and drop. Over and over. All right. So now we've laid out our 10 by 10 patio. Now we need to retain it. So we're going to scrape off any extra sand that's in the way here. And then we're going to take our edge restrain, slide it right up on there. Take a stake. We're going to pound that down into the ground. And what that's going to do is it's going to hold the sand in place and it catches the paver so it holds the paver. <laughs> and then you uh, you can plant your grass or put beauty bark over it and you'll never see this. So once you get the whole project with the edging all the way around it, like that, now you're going to compact the whole project again and put sand on it. Because it's an interlocking paving system, in order to, re to get that interlocking system, what you need to do is you have your base sand, you have the space, and then you have the top sand here, which causes them all to lock together and make it a very strong. So you work this around on top, 
Now, if we were doing this, we'd take a plate compactor at this point and run it across the top, and you're not going to damage them, so you don't worry about that. It actually cleans them up a little bit and makes them nice. And then you sweep the sand in. When you're all done, you sweep it off. And you'll see there's a few holes here. You just kind of work the sand back in. And through time, there might be a little maintenance. You might have to put some more sand on. Um, Does that help weeds not grow through as well? The weeds will grow. Okay. They blow in. Um, there is some different types of sands and sealers that you can use to, uh, to prevent that. Um, but they're just surface weeds. Nothing's growing from underneath because of the base rock. So generally it's just surface weeds. And then you have a patio to enjoy. Cool. Yeah. Alright. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks you guys for your time. Appreciate it. Did you learn anything? Yeah. It wasn't too bad, was it? No, no, it was good.